back to Layla Land. It's day seven of Christmas in Layla Land. We're getting there. We're getting through it. Ooh. I can't believe it's been December for a week. <laughs> Today, I thought it would be fun to share with you. Yes, you. Right there. No, not you. Move. You. Yes, you. Um, my top ten all-time favourite Christmas films. <coughs> so without further ado, in fact, no, no. Before we get onto the films that I have chosen, toiled over, and I have, and I have racked my brain trying to think of the best in the world. So for all that effort, I think it would be the least you can do to just take like five seconds at the most and I'm gonna say five because you might have to look for where the button is but tops five seconds to just go and subscribe please thank you I'll just wait a sec it should be down there <coughs> are you good are you in let's go okay number 10 and it's a controversial one and I fall into the camp of this is a Christmas film, which is why it's on my t top 10 list in at number 10. It's Die Hard! Yes. We love a bit of John McClane. We love a bit of yippee ki -yay, bleepy bleeper. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Um, Leonard. Leonard's getting well excited in the background over there, so it must be one of Leonard's favourite Christmas films too. What's he like? What's he like, eh? Um, yeah, I love it. I mean, it's, you know, it's not technically like a Christmas story, but it happens at Christmas. It's always on at Christmas. And I'll be honest, Christmas for me really starts when three things have happened. One, we've seen the Coca-Cola advert on TV. Two, I've seen Muppets Christmas Carol. And three, he's fallen off that building. It's a great film. Don't start with it. It's a Christmas film. It's on the list. Just deal with it. In at number nine is the absolute classic Home Alone. I mean, it's got to be done, isn't it? It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Also, what was Kevin McAllister's dad's job? Huh? Because that house was epic. Them plane tickets were not cheap. And there were loads of them. So... I want to know what he was doing, and I want to know how I get in on that as well, because, I mean, all dem coins would be lovely. Thank you very much. I've got a label in this jumper that's really itchy, and I'm going to have to cut it out, and I'm worried it's going to make it even more itchy. <sighs> in at number eight, we've got the amazing Love Actually, which is just another Christmas classic, I think. I really do. Even the, like, front cover of it, I just hit myself. That's how excited, stop laughing at me. That's how excited I am about love, actually. I just whacked myself in the face. And um, even the front cover of it is like wrapped up like a bow. International sign for gift wrap in there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Never gets any easier though, does it? Seeing Emma Thompson crying. Oh, could it? It deserves to fall off that tower, actually, in Die Hard. Um, how can you make her cry? She's made a lobster costume, for God's sake. Can't just make her cry like that. In at number seven is Miracle on 34th Street. The original's beautiful because I love old films, but the version with Richard Attenborough, because God rest ye merry gentlemen and Richard Attenborough's soul, he was just born to play Santa. I'm sorry, but he just was. And the scene where the little deaf girl goes to visit Santa and the deaf girl's mum says you don't have to talk to her, she just wants to sit on your knee and Santa is just like, I don't think so, not on my watch, Sunbeam, and fully converses in sign language with her in a little face. Beautiful. I'm going to have to watch it now. I'm going to have to go and watch that one. I'll watch it. Will you watch it with me, Charlotte? Thank yeah. you. Thanks. <laughs> right, number six is The Grinch. And I'm super excited about this one because there's a new Grinch film that we're going to have to go and see and it's got banana hammock cucumber swizzle in it. Oh, very excited. Very, very excited I am. Um, yeah, The Grinch is just brilliant because one, it's hilarical. I mean, Jim Carrey's just brilliant in there, let's face it. Um, two, Dr. Seuss things are just brilliant. 
Three, the Who's are just brilliant. Four, it is just wall-to-wall -wall Christmas magic. Love it, love it. But also, um, the little girl, is she called Cindy Lou? Um, she's just well cute. And that whole where are you Christmas thing just breaks my little tiny shriveled up heart into thousands of pieces every time. In at number five is the Nativity. And I mean the first one with Martin the hobbit freeman freedman freeman freedman he's just bloody brilliant also mr poppy however the star of the show for me is bob bob and his break dancing ruddy marvelous also i do really like and it makes me giggle every time that the lady who plays the head teacher is the lady who plays miss trunchbull in matilda and i just think it's really funny seeing her trying to be a cute nice head teacher and she gets really drunk and sticks her face in a chocolate fountain <laughs> i mean that's not worth an hour of your time i don't know what is number four is a very special one in our house it is the house of mouse megan I'm going to have to I'm going to have to confer with my panel of experts to get the full and proper title. Mickey Mouse snowed in at the house of at the house of mouse. mouse. Snowed in at the house of mouse. It's a Mickey Mouse shebang and it's basically all of the disney characters including princesses have gone to see like a variety show and they get snowed in and then they put like old films on of their own memories and their own little adventures and it's just proper cute it's brilliant and i think moo and i have watched it pretty much every christmas since she was born which she's getting on now so it's quite a while she's just just there and i'm just insulting her for fun of it number three on the list we're nearly there we're nearly there i hope you're all having a guess at what my favorite's gonna be oh i already know <laughs> Sorry. Um, number three is Elf. Elf. I mean, have we all seen Elf? Have we though? If you haven't seen Elf, one, will you please go and see it? But two, I sort of wish I was you so that I could like experience it again for the first time because it's just so funny and it does not matter how many times I watch it, I will still giggle at the, exactly the same bits. It is hilarious the bit where he goes running across the living room and jumps into the christmas tree to try and get the star on the top of like a 98 foot tree is just hilarious and he's one of my favorite top five gifts of all time it's just amazing is he called will ferrell is he is he will ferrell i don't know will he <laughs> sorry sorry i am just a walking cracker joke can't i it's marvelous sorry if you can hear dinging i've got my elf slippers on right number two on the list which if the if the film right go with me if the film that is at number one on my list wasn't so very special to me and my family the film that is currently at number two would be at number one does that make sense is everybody with me y'all good okay um so number two number two on my top 10 christmas movie list is arthur christmas oh my god if ever there is a film i identify with the main character it is arthur christmas because oh my god he is just the most extra person at christmas ever ever bless him with his little light up christmas slippers on she says with her dingy elf slippers on um and it's just wonderful it's absolutely hilarious the story's hilarious it's so heart-wrenching and touching i think i always have a little bit of a allergy moment at the end of it even though i know what's coming i still find that last scene beautiful grand santa is i'll be honest goals i fully intend on being a grumpy old person when i'm old um so yeah i would love to be grand santa because he's grumpy but still got a bit of mischief in him and i think that's the way to go i really really do so yes if you've not seen arthur christmas it is on netflix so go and watch that one are you strapped in because this film to us is incredibly special the number one christmas movie in the layla land nevy household is santa claus the movie we have what well i have watched santa claus the movie without fail every single christmas eve since i was about eight or nine which is a long time 
I'm just gonna say that. It's a while. It's a long time. Also, we have watched this every single Christmas Eve since I became a mummy and I love the fact that it is so special and as special as it is to me to my kids as well like if we don't watch this film on christmas eve christmas may as well be cancelled as far as these two are concerned it's gorgeous the santa is perfect the elves are perfect granny wants a vendigum but i mean the reindeer for goodness sake patch the elf um it's just fantastic the um the little homeless boy and then the little girl who leaves him food all the time is just like oh there's a little boy who's homeless and the bit there's a bit where he like looks longingly into a mcdonald's at all these kids just like stuffing their faces with mcdonald's and it hurts my soul every time i see the look on his face <sighs> oh. so yeah that has to be our number one because it is just such a perfect family christmas film and it's absolutely perfect to watch on Christmas Eve as well. So on Christmas Eve, that is an absolute must in our house every single year. So that was it. That was my top 10 Christmas movies list. What do you think? Are any of your favourites on that list? Do you think I've got that list completely wrong? Go and leave me your favourite Christmas films in the comments. Have you got your tree up? Are you getting into the Christmas spirit? Have you done any shopping? Ah! Um, I do have... I'm doing it again you've asked and i'm gonna do it again for you i've got two gift guides coming up i've got one um gift guide across the board which is going to be everything under 20 pounds and then i'm going to do like a little stocking filler secret santa kind of list as well so if you haven't started your christmas shopping yet and you're panicking don't worry i've got you covered so that's coming hopefully over the weekend slash beginning or next week so keep your eyes peeled although if you didn't subscribe at the beginning, when I did ask you very nicely to, you could go and do that now and while you're at it, click on that bell thing that's down there as well and that'll tell you when I've uploaded a video every day and then you'll know when I've done my gift guide and you'll just get in there early, won't you? Really? So, you know, trying to help you. Trying to help you out. Um, so, yeah, you go and do all that. I'm going to go and stick a Christmas film on because I feel all Christmassy and movie-like right now. <gasps> Can we watch all ten over the weekend? What do you reckon, kids? So yeah, I'm going to go and watch a lot of Christmas movies now over the weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, whatever it is you're doing. Um, remember that we all love you very, very lots. Have a wonderful day, whatever it is, for the rest of the day that you are doing. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We will see you again in my next video, which will be tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.